Hello and welcome to this uh, special, very special interview with uh, Vidit Gujarati. Uh, Vidit, welcome to Rev Sports. Uh, many congratulations on the Olympiad win. It was a great achievement. And now you are in, with the uh, GCL, playing in the GCL. But mm-hmm. let me just take you back to the that night, uh, the celebration where Gukesh and Tanya was taking the uh, trophy in that style and you were all standing on the podium. How, how did it feel? Just walk us through that a moment of it. Um, thank you for the wishes. Um, it was just amazing to win the gold for India. I mean, uh, we have been waiting for this moment for so long. And I felt that this time we completely deserved it. The way we played, it was such a domination. And we won in such a style that there could be no questions asked, you know. So that's even better. That's cherry on the top. So I'm very happy. And I'm sure going ahead, we will win many more gold medals. But the first one will always remain special. Absolutely. And I'm... If you just uh, have to talk about the importance of that win and uh, where does it uh, take Indian chase on the global spectrum, how would you describe it? I feel there are going to be few changes. So one thing is that the perspective of the world towards India is going to be different. In the last few years, I was asked, uh, you know, is India the next superpower? Uh, But that question now probably is no longer there you know it's clear that india is not just uh, up and coming but they are like the world leaders in in the chess world right now that's one thing second thing which i hope to see is that in india it makes a difference when it comes to new people taking up chess because such victories do inspire the kids and they feel like oh i also want to do something similar uh, that's one thing and I feel like this tournament will be quoted, you know. Why did you start playing chess? Because we saw this win, you know. That would, that would be very nice to hear. Thirdly, I feel there's one thing which is missing in India right now is uh, top level tournaments. Now that we might have even a world champion from India, uh, Gukesh might win in November. We are the Olympic champions. I feel uh, we have the players, we have the spectators, like the maximum number of viewers are from India. But there is a lack of tournaments where people can come and watch, you know. That should change. And I feel that's a gap. But hopefully somebody who is watching this uh, this win and this interview might take, a, take this challenge up and make sure that India is the epicenter uh, of world chess or uh, that's where things are... Uh, um, I hope uh, this happens. Absolutely. And, and now that you mentioned about uh, many Indian world champions, and now we have a lot of players who are stars in the sport. So we ha- we now talk about stars, Indian stars in chess. And now talking about the tournament like the GCL, the Global Chess League, we have now a, a more, what to say, a glamorous kind of chess tournament that fans are watching a franchise tournament. So how does this format of the uh, game, the tournament, uh, overall contribute to the sport? I feel any sport has to continuously keep evolving. If it does not, then uh, it doesn't match the times we live in. And I feel GCL is trying to think out of the box when it comes to the format and um, the scoring system and just the way it's played. So that's a good thing. I appreciate that there is uh, somebody has to take the risks, you know, somebody has to take the uh, take the charge and try to think differently about the sport. They need to have a vision uh, how to make it more spectator friendly. That's always been one complaint about chess that it's sometimes not spectator friendly. And I think GCL is trying to change that. Um, So that's a very good thing. Um, I feel uh, just um, more and more people, if they are not into the game and start watching because of a tournament, then it's a success. So I hope GCL does that and like more people come into the sport who are not already from the chess fraternity, but someone new. Okay. 
uh, well vidit in the in your previous answer you mentioned about uh, gukesh and the world championship uh, arjun also spoke to boria majumdar a uh, few minutes back about him being one of the uh, favorites so how do you set it up i mean it's really obvious that gukesh is the favorite right now um there are a couple of factors one is the form both for uh, both players form gukesh just had one of the tournament of his life in olympia he gained like 30 rating points which is massive in one tournament he jumped like lot of world rankings and ding unfortunately for last one and a half years has been struggling um with his play he just doesn't seem to be like how he was something is missing um i've heard that he is getting better um with his like state of mind um but just judging by the current form and shape and motivation levels i see gukesh it's just an obvious pick well uh, now gukesh you yourself prag all these uh, stars uh, global stars in chess also influence uh, many youngsters from other countries also like we spoke to daniel dadda uh, of the gcl so in this tournament how do you see that the mixture of young players coming and the senior players uh, together playing a franchise tournament how how do you see that part of this tournament i think that's irrelevant because i feel like all the players are top players even the junior players are really good players um so i don't think that really makes a difference what different here is the franchise uh, you know uh, because in chess we haven't seen like a club loyalty or a fan base of a particular club you know and there are going to be some players who are going to play for the same club over and over again uh, so you know that's the different part and um now this tournament is of two months uh, two weeks hopefully you know if the response is very good it can even be a longer one you know like a proper uh, long term leak um so i think that's the different part but regarding players i think everybody is already a top player we know each other well uh, i don't think that's the differentiating factor also uh, players wearing uh, numbered jerseys like the other sports football cricket it, it's a, a big attraction also now coming to a fun part of this conversation uh, we uh, see your social media handles you play uh, your guitar so how is that side of vidit gujarati like uh, can you please walk us through that side of vidit gujarati yeah i feel if i did not have too many interests i would have a higher world ranking but uh, the problem is that too many things uh, take up my time and i enjoyed doing those things if i was only good at one thing or if i liked only one thing then it would have been easier uh, but it gives me joy so even before today's game i was uh, just strumming a bit and uh, that's my what to say um way to escape from uh, all the madness uh, so uh, uh, talking about mental health it's a very important issue in today's world in every sport also not only on sport also so does these thing uh, playing guitar or watching any movies does that uh, help to your mental health how do you see that um i don't think watching movies helps me i don't even remember the last time i watched a movie entirely um but yes music does help even before the game i was listening to something instrumental and it just helps me get into what to say a good state of mind um but it's a very recent obsession you know i don't know how long it lasts uh, but for sure i think many people need something to uh, find their solace in, in you know it could be uh, music it could be going out for a walk it could be just hanging out with friends uh, there's no one clear recipe and i think uh, some people like to even go to the gym it, it's it's a recipe which one has to figure out i am still on that journey i haven't figured it out uh, but currently i'm liking what i'm doing nice uh, a few uh, rapid questions Uh, as uh, if not a chess player then what would have you been 
I read some horoscope somewhere that I would have been a detective, so I would go with that. So, do you like uh, like detective movies, or as you mentioned, you don't like yeah. movies? Or stories? yeah, I do. Who's your favorite? No, no, I do like it. I mean, Sherlock Holmes, uh, the series, uh, I really enjoyed, and any thriller, I enjoy a lot. Have you been to the Sherlock Holmes museum? In London? Uh, not yet, uh, not yet. But I do plan to go to Baker Street. and see what the deal is all about <laughs> the museum is re- really well done i i haven't been i plan to be there next year but any other sport other still, places that you are still too young to in? visit all museums you know <laughs> any other sport uh, other than chess that you like i like i like to play badminton basketball uh, quite a bit uh, swimming i enjoy uh, but to watch um, it's i'm really picky and moody like it, there's no one sport that i'll religiously follow or have like you know know all the stats and everything uh, my perspective is uh, when i watch any sport it's to either have fun when i'm watching it and otherwise uh, and just try to learn because i feel the qualities are similar in every sport that you need okay who's your favorite chess player um I don't have any favorites actually. Stockfish. Okay. Tea or coffee person? Oh, big time coffee person. Th- that's one addiction which I want to get rid of. <laughs> Why? It, it uh, doesn't help. It doesn't help much. It's when something is so good, it can't be good for your health. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when it tastes so good, it can't be really good for your health. So. I know that uh, it has some downsides, but it's too too good to give up. <laughs> well, well, it was lovely chatting to you. It was lovely chatting to you. One yeah. last, uh, could you please just talk a bit about that social media post about Coldplay? You playing the st- guitar about the Viva La Vida? Just we'll just play it as a reel. Yeah. yeah, the thing is, um, I played that actually one month ago. I was learning. I'm a Coldplay fan. and i don't have tickets to their concert and in january i am actually not playing a tournament so i was like okay this is the time to post who knows i might get tickets <laughs> it was a shot in the dark we hope to uh, talk to you again all the best for this season of gcl and uh, we hope that you um, win many more trophies for the country and thank you so much for talking to us thank you so much thank you i hope i hope the same <laughs>